everybody, welcome back to Chef Dog. Maybe a quick reminder here at Chef Dog, we like to review Costco food, and then we taste it at the end, we let you know what we think about it. So today, we are doing the Kodiak Cakes. You can get these at Costco. They're actually made right here in Utah, good old Park City. You can get this right now for about 12 bucks. I think there's a rebate going on actually right now. Um, it comes in a three pack from Costco. Three of these packs in, in here, so 72 ounces. We have three different recipes. They say you can just add water, you can add milk, or you can add milk with an egg. I'm gonna go with the milk with an egg because I always prefer milk over water. But if you go just with water, it's 14 grams of protein, with milk it's 16, and with milk and an egg it says it's 18 grams. We're gonna do it in a pancake. So I'm gonna mix it and pour it over here on the skillet. Simple enough, you just pour it in. So as you see right there, 100% whole grain. And see as it comes out, it definitely looks more whole grain-ishy, right, than the flour mix. Put a single egg. I'm gonna rinse that off the old fingers. And then I, just if you didn't notice, I don't measure stuff. I'm gonna just pour it in, and I'm gonna keep mixing it until I, I get it how I want it. The instructions, it actually says do not overbeat. So I will not mix this, I guess, as much as maybe I would like. I like my uh, pancakes to where I, I lift up the fork and it runs off it, kind of like that. Uh, maybe, maybe just a little bit more milk, not much, just barely. Perfect, that's exactly how I like it. We made these the other day and uh, when you cook them on the skillet, I had it at 350. The instructions say 375. I had it on at 350 and it cooked it too fast. So the inside still was kind of gooey and the outside got burnt. So I changed it to 300 and it worked better. So that's my recommendation. Set your skillet at, a, at about 300 and then I always want to put some cooking oil on there so it doesn't stick to it. So once that heats up, we'll put it on. You'll see that they cook pretty fast. I'm gonna be flipping those probably within the next 30 seconds. I don't wait too long. There you go. Add them on there for what, less than a minute? There you go, just like that. I'd say that was perfect. As I, as I move this around a little bit, and you can see that, because it's doughy on the inside, you can move that around still. I'm probably ready, I could flip these again now, and then I'll just keep flipping them until as I move that, that middle doesn't move around, it's stiff. For about five minutes, I've been flipping them maybe every minute or so, and as I move, it doesn't move in the middle anymore, so I think we're good to go. So we're gonna start tasting some of these. That looks to me like a perfect Kodiak pancake right there. Not doughy in the middle. I'm gonna put some of this on. This is the log cabin syrup from Costco. Uh, no fructose. And then we like to use real butter. So I'm gonna taste it without the syrup on. And then I'm gonna put the syrup on after because who doesn't put syrup on their pancake? Let's try this, folks. Middle of it. I'm gonna fill it just to see if it is doughy. It doesn't, it feels to me like we're good. It actually tastes great. It actually tastes pretty good. Put some syrup on there now. Try it now. I know that that can dominate the taste, but I'm actually uh, gonna say I like it more than I thought I would. I know I say that a lot, but I felt like it was gonna be kind of maybe too dry and, and not have a lot of flavor. But you know, what do you expect from a pancake, right? I really do, I, I like it. So for as high as it is in, in protein, carbs on it are 30 grams, but it says the fiber in it's five grams. So for me, I would eat this for sure again and again and again, especially if you're trying to have more of a, a high protein, low carb diet. You could eat this without the without the syrup even. A fan. So five minutes on, make sure the inside isn't doughy. And again, we did this with milk and eggs. It's not as sweet maybe, and I don't know if that's just in my head that I'm used to. All right, so we got my co-star here, Miss Brecklin. No, mom's in bed. What is it, noon and she's still in bed? Yeah, that seems about right. After noon? <laughs> Okay, give it a shot. Okay. Tell us what you think. So my 11 year old daughter, would you recommend this to other kids? Would you eat this again? Or, and do you like it? You would eat it again. Yeah, yeah look at the camera, tell them. So, so you giving it a, a big thumbs up, a kind of a thumbs up? A, a 99 thumbs up? A 99. That's pretty good. Okay, well I, I yeah, if we're gonna rate this like I normally do, I'm gonna give this the fact that, I, that it's supposed to be better for you, and I'm gonna believe that it is, I'm gonna give it a higher rating. I'm gonna say that I'm somewhere right around like an 8.2. Because then I don't feel guilty eating this stuff, right? As guilty eating this. I like a higher protein meal, so 8.2 for me. Brecklin, 99 thumbs up, and she's eating it again, so that's a good sign. So I guess folks here at Chef Dog, we endorse the old Kodiak. 
Remember to subscribe and share and all those wonderful things. And thank you so much for your support. We love you guys. Okay, have a good one. Bye.